Thanks for borrowing a community car wash kit from your local municipality for your next fundraising event. Car wash fundraisers are a great way to connect with the community and bring awareness and much needed funds to your organization. It is also a way to mobilize your organization and motivate them to do good right here in our community. Responsibly managing car wash runoff is an important part of making your event successful. Car wash rinse water contains more than just water. Detergents, metal shavings from brake dust and rotors, vehicle fluids, and road contaminants can all rinse off cars and run into storm drains if it isn't captured before flowing to them. The Community Car Wash Kit ensures that the rinse water you create at this event is captured and treated rather than carelessly entering the storm drain. City storm drains are meant to capture rainwater during a storm and allow it to flow into creeks and pre to prevent flooding on roadways and parking lots in our city. Any water that flows into a storm drain ends up in our creeks and rivers untreated. Anything other than rain that makes it into the system can be toxic and harm the sensitive aquatic wildlife and plants that are home in these local habitats. When using the car wash kit, we provide a mat and cover to protect the storm drain so that rinse water is prevented from entering the system and thereby the creeks. We also provide a way to capture or divert the water that is simple to use and effective at keeping our local creeks clean. Let's walk through the steps to best use the car wash kit so we know how it works. First things first, request to borrow a car wash kit by contacting your local municipality online. Next, locate your wash spot. Look for a safe but visible place to hold your car wash. Once you figure out where you'll be washing cars, determine how the rinse water will flow. Take time to locate any downslope storm drains or drop inlets. These may be drop inlets in the parking lot or could be catch basins further down the street. A city employee will schedule a time to come out and check the location of your car washing event and go over any details needed to protect wash water from going into a storm drain. The day of the car wash, use a broom or shop vac to clear the area around the storm drain so the cover will form a tight seal. Unwrap the storm drain mat and place it over the storm drain. Place the sticky side of the mat down. To ensure it has good, a good seal, use weights along the edges. Next, set up a temporary berm where water will flow towards the drop inlet and can collect on the inside of the berm. Unwrap the berm and lay it on top of the mat in an L shape to collect all of the rinse water. Berms can also be used to direct water into landscaping. Place the sump pump inside of the berm's L shape where water will collect. Connect one end of the 15 foot hose directly to the pump. Connect the other end of the garden hose to the soaker hose. Place the 25 foot soaker hose onto a permeable area like grass, soil, mulch, or nearby plants away from any electrical wires. Place cones to protect the pump to keep people out of the area. Before using any water, connect the pump's two electrical cords together by inserting the black plug into the adapter. Plug this adapter into the extension cord. The extension cord then gets plugged into the GFCI and that gets plugged into your power source. Check to be sure the GFCI cord is on as indicated by the red LED light. Double check that all connections are dry and away from any potential water sources. The pump will turn on automatically once there is one and three quarter inches of water. Place the water saving nozzle on the end of the 50 foot garden hose and connect the hose to your water source. You're ready to get started for your event. A few safety tips. Be sure to unplug the sump pump before ever touching or moving it. Ensure water is contained in the black berm and not flowing out of it. Check the permeable area often to make sure it is still soaking up the rinse water and not allowing it to pool or run off. If it begins to pond or run off, move the soaker hose to a new area to prevent any excess runoff. Good luck with your event and thank you for doing your part to protect our creeks. Remember, they are ours to protect.